Hey Tarot Peeps, how's it going? This is going to be a very, very special video today. You can consider this video my tarot gift to you, my fellow tarot peeps. Um, a little while ago I ordered some cards off eBay and they are by an artist who is just beyond, beyond brilliant. Um, they're called the Sacred Mirrors cards and they're by Alex Gray. And for those of you who are tool fans, I mean, I am a tool, like absolute freak. <laughs> I've seen them once, saw them once in concert a couple of years ago in January. And it was just like one of the most pivotal, visceral, um, just incredible experiences of my life. Not only a sonic experience, but visual, you know, just energetically. I mean, it was just absolutely incredible. Tool is my favorite band. I adore Tool. I want to marry Maynard, but I'm already married, so I don't know how that's going to work. But anyway, um, and I'm sure there's a few people in line to marry him. But um, anyways, so... Alex Gray has done a lot of artwork for Tool. He's done, you know, artwork uh, for their for their albums, for their CDs. Um, I, he, I'm not sure if he's contributed to their videos. I'm sure he has. Um, I'm sure they've used his art in their videos. Um, he's just incredible. I believe, personally, that he is a modern-day Michelangelo. Okay? I mean, a lot of people might think I'm going overboard by saying that. I don't. I mean, this guy's work is so intricate and so detailed and just so, so beautiful. Um, it's just beyond. Anyway, so... I have been, like, wishing that this guy would do a tarot deck for, like, forever. And so... I'd never heard of these cards, and just out of curiosity, one day I googled Alex Gray Tarot, and then these cards popped up, these Sacred Mirrors uh, cards. Now, they are not tarot cards. Uh, this is a deck of, I think there's 21 cards. I think there's 21 cards in here. Um, they retail for $19.95. I got them off eBay for like 17 something. I got a couple of bucks off. And um, I ordered them. And they're not tarot cards, but, you know, I think they could be used as oracle cards. I mean, the artwork is just so incredible that, you know, it, it just, you know, your mind could just make up all kinds of ideas when you look at those cards. So I am going to share them with you. So anyway, here's the boxes I've showed you a few times. Look at the inside of the box. Okay, this is typical Alex Gray. He's very geometric. He does a lot. He uses patterns and just, I mean, look, the color, pattern, color, everything. It's just like you're, you're like living in a matrix when you look at this guy's work. Um, that's just the box. Wait till you see the cards. Okay, also, another thing about these cards is that they also have poetry written by Gray on the back of each card. So I will show you each card, and I'll read you off some of his poetry that he's written that particularly stood out to me or whatever. I mean, these cards are just... Here's typical Gray right here. This is the first card. This card is called Divinization. Okay? And here is what the back of the cards look like. Uh, there's the poetry on the back. These cards are very large, and they're very, very awesome quality, car good card stock, thick, hard card stock. And if you have the Lover's Tarot, which is this deck here, which I absolutely adore, it's Major Arcana only. These cards are only Major Arcana cards, but they are just unbelievable. Um, that card, that deck is by uh, Jane Lyle, and um, yeah, they are just incredible. The reason I'm mentioning them here is because they're the same size as the uh, Sacred Mirrors cards. These cards are large. Anyway, let me give you a sample of some of the poetry he writes. Here's what's written on the back of this card. It says, In a cosmos of billions of galaxies, in a galaxy of billions of stars, there's a planet with billions of people, the only one we know. And every breath we breathe is a miracle. Our hearts pump. We see, we feel, we taste, we hear, we touch our world. And sometimes we forget the pure wonder of our brief journey on Earth. My life is committed to making artwork that wakes people up to the miracle of life. The value of being human and the transformative power of love. There are moments when we see behind the opaque curtain of life, when the infinite one shines through the skin of the beloved 
and we recognize the game we are in, the journey we are on, the powerful beings that we are, and the truth that is worth living for. Let us build a new temple in accordance with this vision, where the interfaith spirit of pure possibility can be embodied in transformative architecture. Vision becomes form. To build sacred space is the art of a community. Please join us in building the Chapel of Sacred Mirrors. Yes, Alex Gray is very, is very, very spiritual person. And actually, I watched a documentary about Alex Gray recently on Gaim TV. We got a Roku a little while back, which is where you can view um, TV shows through the um, on the internet through your TV. And there was a there was a documentary about him, funnily enough, on, and he was talking about um, the, his chapel of sacred mirrors that he has created with this artwork. And uh, he talked about doing a lot of LSD. He's uh, experimented a lot with LSD. You can definitely see that here, right? All the intricate, just detailed, colorful, just wow, 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 visuals here, okay? Now, here's the next card. This one is called Foundation. Just going to look here. This guy's artwork reminds me of, we used to have an encyclopedia when I was a kid. My family had this set of encyclopedias. They were called Compton encyclopedias. And one of them, I used to be fascinated with this thing. I used to look at it all the time when I was a little kid. Um, one of them had a section on anatomy, and it had all these transparent plates uh, pages where you could go through each one and see like the different systems of the body and the organs and the skeleton and everything. It was just incredible. I don't know what happened to those, those encyclopedias. They must be worth a lot of money now because, you know, they're pretty rare these days, I think, those types of encyclopedias. Um, but I remember being fascinated with those and just the, his, his artwork reminds me of those anatomical plates that were in that encyclopedia. This is called Impermanence. This one, see this is what I mean, he's going like deeper and deeper into the body and showing the different systems. This one is called Intelligence. Sorry about the shine and the glare, you guys, I'm trying to... This one is called Passion. This one is called Boundaries. And he's talking about the lymphatic system here in this poem. It says, Lymph, holy water of life, bathing every cell with nutritional healing plasma. Mysterious cleansing cousin of the cardiovascular. Nodes that swell when inflamed. Pick up the pieces of the circulatory system. Take away and destroy invading predators. Purify, recycle, and regenerate white blood cells. Lymphocytes, my defending militia. Immunize me. Keep me safely, healthy, and whole, my guardians of the realm. On a micro-level border patrol, thou art the decider of what is and is not me. And this one is called Vulnerability. This one is called Courage. This one is called Action. This one is called Caring. This one is called creation. Respect, Aretha, respect. Sorry, oh, I'm trying to get the best. Shoot. 
I'll put pictures at the end so you're seeing these uh, clearly. Yang. This one is called Yang. Yin. multi-dimensionality. He's got the chakras here. He talks about the chakras a lot. That looks great. And he, he paints the chakras a lot in his paintings of the body. This one I think is my favorite. I just love this card. It's called Purification. I love how that energy is just like exploding out of the head of this figure and it's just surrounding, surrounding this figure in just like this vortex, you know, it's just incredible, incredibly beautiful. It says, melting our identity into a fountain of light, extending into our surroundings, transforms the mirrored perceiver into sprouting jets of psychogism. This still human archetype is a vessel of transition into the elevated order. I love it. I love it. Here's another just gorgeous one, taking that one that one step further. This one is called interconnectedness. This one is called witness. Here's another, oh, love it. Compassion. And he's got this Buddha here. Awesome. Just awesome. And I don't know if you can see. No, it's, this is, that's on another card. Sorry, I'm mistaken. I'll show you the other one. Uh, this one is called Healing the Christ figure. The angels at the bottom there. So gorgeous. Oh, love this one too. It's called Sophia. This painting is called Sophia. The card is called Wisdom. Isn't it? Look at it. I'm going to come in closer. You can see, you see all the eyes? Those are all eyes behind her. Yeah, all eyes. It's just incredible. This one is called Unity. And last but not least, this one is called Community. That's funny. Where did I see? There was one of the, one of the cards had Callie in the bottom. Oh yeah, it was. <coughs> excuse me, it was Sophia. There's Callie at the bottom there, the Indian goddess of destruction. That's Callie. I'm, you're probably not going to be able to see her too well here, but there she is. I've always been fascinated with Callie, but um, anyway, yeah. So that that is the Sacred Mirrors cards. I mean, I'm definitely going to be using these as um, oracle cards or something. I'm definitely going to be incorporating these into my reading somehow. I want to use these cards. You know, they're so beautiful. I don't want to just put them in a box and and look at them once a year or something. I want to actually be using these cards because they're just, they're absolutely just incredibly, incredibly awesome. I love this guy. He is my favorite artist, my favorite modern artist. 
And, um, yeah, I just, I just love him. I love him. Please, Alex Gray, please do a tarot deck. I beg you. I beg you. I beg you. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this look at the, uh, Sacred Mirrors cards. Like I said, it's my Christmas gift to you because they're just so awesome. They are a gift. They are a gift to behold. So I hope you enjoyed it. And um, have a wonderful Christmas, everyone. Um, have a great new year. I'll be back next week with another, with my reading, with my regular weekly reading for the new year. So I will see you then. Thank you for watching and take care. Bye for now.